Hey guys, we're excited to celebrate Resurrection Revolution with you guys over the internet. So Resurrection Revolution is our children's Easter event where we celebrate that Christ died for our sins and that he rose again on the third day. Um, some of the things you can expect from ResRev online are we're going to tell the Easter story, obviously. Um, we are going to provide you guys with some great activities that you as a family can do. And then we're also going to give you um, a link to just another version of the Easter story that you can watch as a family. So let's get started.
So today we're going to talk about the resurrection story, which is Christ dying for our sins and rising again on the third day. So in order to do that, we're going to start at the beginning of the story. So there's some things we need to know. Um, one, we need to know that God created us, um, that he created us to have a relationship with him. Um, if you remember Adam and Eve, they were the very first humans. And so they were in the Garden of Eden with God and they were able to walk with God and talk with God and bring glory to him. And so they had a very close relationship with him. But sin entered the world through Adam and Eve. Um, they chose to disobey a law that God had given them, and they wanted to have the same knowledge and the same understanding as God, um, which meant they wanted to basically be God, and that breaks God's rule. Um, if you remember, sin is anything that we think, anything we say, anything we do, or anything we don't do that displeases God. And so sin is a big deal because it breaks our relationship with God. Um, we're choosing to do something we know he's asked us not to do. So the consequence of Adam and Eve's sin and the consequence of our sin is one day we're going to die a physical death. Um, we're all going to pass away. But even more so than that is the death of our relationship with God. Um, remember, we were created to walk with God, to talk with God, and to have a, just a wonderful relationship with Him. And because we chose to sin, that broke our relationship with Him. We're separated for him, from Him. But God had a plan. He knew that we were going to sin. He knew that we were created to have that relationship with him. And so he provided a way for that relationship to be fixed or restored. How he did that is he sent his holy, perfect, right, without sin son, Jesus, to take the consequences or the punishment of our sin. And Easter is the celebration of Jesus conquering that sin and conquering that death. So let's walk through the resurrection story. If you want to look up the resurrection story, you can find it in the Gospels. Remember, those are the first four books of the New Testament. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And those Gospels tell us the good news of Jesus coming to restore our relationship. Those Gospels are also where we want to look if we're wanting to read about Jesus' life on earth as a human being. So let's look into what the Gospels tell us. Um, remember, Jesus came to earth as a baby, um, and then he grew. And when we're looking at the Easter story, we're looking about when Jesus is about 33 years old, um, and we're looking at where he's come to fulfill his purpose, which is to redeem us by paying the price for our sin. Um, at this point in his ministry, he's been doing ministry for about three years, and people know that he has come to be the Messiah, the one who saves them, but they don't really understand exactly what that means. Um, Jesus heads to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. Um, the Passover was the celebration of how the Jews um, were saved when they were in Egypt. Um, Remember, um, there were the plagues, and the very last plague was that the firstborn son would pass away. And the Passover meant that those who were God's chosen people, the Jews, um, they were passed over in that judgment. And so their firstborn children, or their firstborn sons didn't pass away. So this is a big celebration for the Jewish people. So Jesus has gone to Jerusalem. He's telling... Um, his followers that, hey, the time has almost come for me to fulfill my purpose, and they don't really understand that. Um, so there's several events that you can read about to, to see where Jesus is coming in on the donkey, um, and we celebrate Palm Sunday because people were praising uh, Jesus. They were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Um, so that happens. He comes in. He um, does ministry in Jerusalem throughout the week, and then he gets arrested. He got arrested because Judas betrayed him. Um, and there were some people who didn't want Jesus to 
uh, do his ministry, and they kind of thought that Jesus was um, trying to take over their government, um, so they were really upset. So Jesus gets arrested. Um, he's tried. They convict him, and they say, hey, you're going to be crucified. Now, their purpose in crucifying him was to get rid of somebody who they thought was trying to take over and rescue all the Jews. Remember, God's purpose in Jesus being crucified was to take the punishment for our sins. Jesus died to take our punishment. So he's crucified. Um, when he's crucified, he's separated from his Father in heaven because he's experiencing that same broken relationship that we experience as the consequence of our sin. So it was a very hard time for Jesus. Um, he's crucified, He's which means he's dead. Um, he was buried in a tomb. But remember, he didn't stay dead. He rose again on the third day, and he conquered sin and death once and for all, which is the most important part for us to realize in this resurrection story, that Jesus didn't stay dead, that he is alive, um, that he conquered death, he conquered sin, and he restored that relationship with God and provided a, us with a way to fix that relationship. So one of the things that we really um, can celebrate about Easter is that we now have the opportunity to have that fixed relationship with God. And one of the things I want to make sure that you know is how you can fix your relationship. So Jesus died for our sins. He provided that opportunity, but he also gives us the choice to follow him or to not follow him. So if we choose to follow him, then we ask God to forgive our sins. Um, and then we ask him to be the boss of our life. That means he's in charge of us. We're giving him control. I would love to talk with you more about um, what it means to be a Christian, to be a follower of Christ, to have him be your boss. So if you um, want to talk to your parents about that, and then if they want to contact me, I would love to um, talk with you about that. You can contact me from phone or from email, um, and we all attach that information for you as well. Um, I am glad that we get to celebrate Easter together, that we get to celebrate how Jesus conquered sin and death. And I hope you guys enjoy the activities um, that will help bring this story to life. Welcome Waterloo families to our online Easter celebration. We wanted to give you and your family a couple activities to do during this Holy Week. So below you're going to find links to five different activities that we've chosen. You can choose to do your favorite or challenge yourself to do them all. The first activity we have is to act out the Easter story with your family. Read it from the Bible, gather some supplies, and then recreate what you've read with your kids. The second activity we have is to make a mosaic cross. All you need is sidewalk chalk and masking tape. Go outside on your driveway tape it out and color it in. The third activity we have is a building activity. Using any building supplies you have, such as Lincoln Logs or Legos, or even supplies that you find in nature, recreate the crucifixion scene or the resurrection scene. We would love to see what you create, so post it on our Facebook page. Our fourth activity we have is a cooking activity. You and your kids will have fun making resurrection rolls. Our recipe is online, so just look at it and get creative with it. The last activity we have is a finger puzzle. The design is online, so make sure you hit that link, print it out, and help your kids do it. The best part is, is that this one has Bible verses that go with it. We just want to thank you guys again for joining us online as we celebrate our Easter Resurrection Revolution. Stay with us as we finish with praise and worship. Gather your family and let's sing. i
up with your hand, you give me faith and I will 